Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't seen my previous videos talking about how to make stickers with AI, Hello. don't forget to check out the rest of my videos on my page. Like and follow, you know what to do. So we are going to be talking about how we can make our lives more efficient with AI and ChatGPT. Today I'm going to be talking about how we can use ChatGPT to set up a cleaning schedule for us because let's just be real. If you have a family, it is absolute chaos when you have to like clean, cook, and do everything in between. And sometimes we just don't get to that area of cleaning like we should. So I'm gonna ask ChatGPT how it can help me out. I'm trying to use my time wise, more wisely when it comes to cleaning on my days off. I'm a family of three and I feel like the cleaning gets a lot piled up at the end of the week. Can you make a, a monthly plan on how our cleaning schedule and how we can make this a little bit more easier. So we asked that in chat GBT and let's see what it gives us. So I went into lots of detail um, talking about how big my house is, how many bedrooms and all these kind of stuff. Like as if I was talking to someone who's gonna professionally clean my house. So let's get into it. So it gave us a pretty good detail of cleaning instructions. So rotated foot the mattress and I'm like mm, this is not bad this is not bad but I'm like can you put this into a calendar for 30 days because we want to clean a little bit every single day because that is the most effective way to do this because once you're doing everything in one day it's like you're asking to like I don't know it's too much I've done that before and when you know it's crazy plus cooking cleaning no way so then it tells you week one and it tells you every single day what task you're gonna be doing every single day and I said this this is epic so it gets you on a schedule and it takes quite some time to probably fulfill the schedule you may have to make adjustments but I think this is cool and I asked it, can you make it into a sheet, like a, a calendar or whatever? But it says, you know what? You can take this and actually put it in Google Sheets and make it into a chart form like you, you can. I know there has to be a way that could actually put this onto a calendar so I don't have to sit there and type everything. Yes, I'm lazy. I'm sorry. This is about making my life easier. So yeah, it should be like that. But I will try and see if I can try and figure that out for you guys and then I can show you at a later date, but this is pretty good. Then I said, you know what? I wanna make it more detailed. I want it to talk about dusting. I wanna have three tasks a day because I wanna try to make this more specific for the other members of my household, which is my four-year-old, which you know she's not cleaning like this. Yeah. Anyway, it went into more detail and it said, clean the dishes, disinfect, no, not clean the dishes, clean the microwave, the stove top, and it goes into more details and it gives you more information. And I told it to do three items per day. I'm not entirely sure if it did do that, but um, I asked it, is this the most effective way to help clean your house? Like, is this the best way to clean my home and to do it more efficiently? Because I'm like, I don't know if I'm doing this right, but I just wanted to show you just so you can understand that it gives you such great outputs and it tells you, it says, what does it say? It says the effectiveness and efficiency of cleaning is about prioritizing high traffic areas, batch, you know, the normal things. But for some people, this would actually help them a lot because when you have so much on your mind, you just need some little bit of guidance. So I thought this was pretty cool and definitely try this um, prompt and just try and see if you can make a kind of cleaning schedule for yourself that, you know, it might work and actually be a great goal for the new year. So in, in that same kind of realm of time management and cleaning, I asked it, you know, I'm trying to work on my time management skills and what kind of ideas and what kind of things you can help me with to help me manage my time better and, you know, be more effective on my days off, but still have time to enjoy my life. And I say that I'm a jerk nurse. I'm a jerk. Sorry. I'm a nurse and it's very busy and I just need to be able to balance my life better. So again, once you keep talking in the same prompt um, section, like this same little conversation, it will start to understand you better and know who you are. Now, I wouldn't put a lot of detailed information about yourself, like where you live and this and stuff, this stuff, because it is collecting data because it's still collecting data, but um, just doing the basics. So it tells you 
you know, avoid overcommitting, reflecting. I think this is really good. You know, set goals, time blocking. And then you could actually pick one of these and say, can you go into more detail about time blocking and what that would look like in my life more specifically and my setup of my home life? Like what? That is, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me being hyped right now, but that is pretty wicked. Especially if you're a person that experienced a lot of brain fog and, you know, people who have ADHD trying to commit, trying to be organized. I think this is really, really good. And it tells you sort and organize the laundry, time blocks, folding and putting away. Because let's just be real. Who puts away their laundry every single time? Not me, ma'am. So honestly, this is really, 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 really cool. And I hope you can use this in your daily life. And I hope this will be very effective for you. So this is just something a little bit for your enjoyment. If you like Star Wars, if you like resin art, this is what I created a while back. I'm in love with them and it was a fun time. So if you like this content, you know exactly what to do. Take care. Bye.